the good old back and forth between the Ravens versus the media. Um, recently, it's obviously Lamar Jackson versus the whole media out there, but J.K. Dobbins. Ian Rappaport says, hey, J.K. Dobbins, he's probably going to land on the, the pup list, and he may even miss week one. It's no guarantee he'll be ready for week one. J.K. Dobbins says, hold up now. I, I, ain't, I ain't about to let you say that about me. Uh-uh. I might not even go on the pup list, and I'm going to definitely be ready for week one. You can bet that. What happens? <laughs> J.K. Dobbins goes on the pup list. Uh, but yesterday, he did come off. So it's like, okay, yeah, let's go. Okay, great job. Uh, so and, and it's looking like, I mean, from all the videos that we've seen of J.K. Dobbins, it is going to be a process, but I think he'll be ready for week one for sure. I don't think they'll play him in a preseason okay, from last year. Mm -mm, don't. But I think he'll definitely be ready for week one. Now, um, Harbaugh. Uh, of course, Tyler Lindenbaum, he got hurt. And Harbaugh said he's going to be out uh, for one to two weeks. And it's like, okay. Like, like we always say, hey, well, Harbaugh says an injury. Just add a little extra time to it just, to, just for your mental. Um, but then uh, Ian Rappaport. And Mike Garofalo, they came out with a report uh, yesterday that said that Tyler Linderbaum actually has a Liz Frank injury that he's been dealing with from college that he had before, but he played through it. They said it's not a tear, so a tear could take him out potentially for the season uh, or a very extended amount of time. Um, but it's a sprain, so he can play through it. Um, but I, I told y'all when I heard that word, Liz Frank, it just, it really scared me. Um, but Harbaugh, yesterday in the presser, um, he said no. He said no. It, mm -mm. He said nope. That it is not a uh, Liz Frank sprain. He said that, that that is not what it is. He said there's an issue with a ligament in his foot and believes that nothing has changed with the timetable, which he has said, uh, which would be a week or two. And he said about that, that report uh, from Ian Rappaport and Mike Garofalo, he said, that's not true. Now, um, I know, and it depends on what side of the fence you're on. There, there could be some people that would be like, oh, see, look at that. There goes Rap Sheet lying again, spreading false info. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We stand with Harbaugh. And there could be people on the other side of the fence like, hey, Harbaugh, when it comes to injuries, he just be saying stuff. He don't know what he's talking about. Oh, I'm, I'm riding with Ian. Or they're the people like me who are like seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. I ain't gonna get all upset. No, no, I ain't picking nobody's side. I'm the way I see it. Hey, when we see Tyler Lindenbaum out there, okay, cool. That's when we'll see him. Hopefully, <laughs> Hope, hopefully, oh, hopefully, John Harbaugh is right about this. Hopefully he is, um, because it just, when you think about stuff like this, it just brings up so many questions for me. It really does. Like, it, well, again, hopefully Harbaugh's right, because that would eliminate these questions. But if Tyler Lindenbaum did play through a Liz Frank injury in college, um, and now he's getting ready to go to the pros, why, why wouldn't that be, like, corrected or fixed or taken care of when y'all, after y'all drafted him? Because that would be my thinking, like, yo, I want to get that done, like, ASAP. Um, I, I just think about, again, lingering. Any, any lingering issues that I hope he doesn't uh, end up having with the, uh, the Liz Frank injury. Well, again, Harbaugh said it's not a Liz Frank injury. He said it's a ligament. So I, I, just, I just don't want it to be one of those things where it's an issue early on. Um, and it just, it lingers and it goes on throughout his career. That's my biggest thing. I, I don't want it to be that short term. Hey, if he misses some time, okay. I, I would rather him be with the Ravens for the long haul than them not take care of a major issue in the short term. You get what I'm saying? Like my thinking when Ravens first drafted Hollywood, I'm like, all right, cool. They kept saying, oh, yeah, Hollywood, they, would, they wouldn't let him practice every Friday. They gave him every Friday off um, just to sort of deal with the, 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 the pain management of his injury, which was a Liz Frank injury, too. He had screws in his foot and whatnot. Um, 
So they, they would hold him out. And my thinking with him, because I remember, uh, yeah, they, they talked about it, like when he got drafted that he had that injury. And I was like, okay, well, cool, they drafted him, all right. If he got to be on the pup list the first six weeks, cool. Because I would, I would rather that, that he was held out in the short term so he would be good to go for the long term of the season. That was my thinking with that. And then when they didn't hold him out, he played from jump. And then week one, he went off for, what, 150 yards, two touchdowns. I said, okay, well, that's why the Ravens, they got their medical staff, and I got myself. Um, but, no, it's uh, – so, I mean, it's, it's the same thing for me. That's And, and this with J.K. Dobbins, Gus, Marcus Peters, who still still in the dark about. Don't know what's going on with him. Steven Means, he returned to practice. So, that was a good thing. He's back. So, Ravens still still thin at edge and outside linebacker and whatnot. So I still expect them to sign somebody there. But um, I just uh, I'm I'm just thinking long term. I'm thinking long term. And again, last last year, if you weren't thinking like that already, I think last year had a lot of impact on people's thinking when it comes to long term stuff uh, with the Ravens. So I just I I, I really. I don't care who is right or who is wrong about this whole Tyler Linderbaum thing. Um, I just want him to be good. I, I just want him to be good and be good for the Ravens for a long time. Uh, I, I don't want this to be one of them first round picks and injuries end up killing his career, especially if it's the same thing. Especially if he got a fluke injury or something that have okay that happens, but if it's something that they know about he knows about and they could they got an opportunity to really get it fixed hey i'm all for that if it's something where it's uh rehab could take care of it and not surgery okay but if it's something that where surgery may be a requirement okay and i mean <clears throat> again i see with ravens fans um it's so many different experiences that that scars uh, Rashad Bateman. <laughs> Y'all remember last year with Rashad Bateman? Y'all remember that that whole fiasco? It turned into like a little thing, and then it went to a big thing. Like, oh no, he's be he's week to week or whatever. Oh boom! Oh, he's gonna be out uh, for the first five six weeks. Oh, he'll be back in what they say? What did John Harbaugh say? October? He said late September, early October, mid October. I forgot when, but yeah. It's like, oh, okay. But then another first round pick at the wide receiver position, which so many of us Ravens fans had got scarred from as far as injuries. Brashard Perryman. Brashard Perryman. Oh man, that that was that was the worst one for me out of all of them. Because as far as how just the, the reports we were getting, oh yeah, Brashard Perryman. He, what they said, there's something with his knees, I think. I forgot what it was, but we got the report. Oh, Harbaugh was like, hey, oh, he's week to week. He's week to week. He can return any day now. He's, he's week to week. It's like, okay, okay. Then he ended up being out the whole season. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, <laughs> that is, hey, technically week to week is right. But it ended up being 16 weeks. And it was like, oh, goodness, man. So... Again, um, really ever since then, it's always been ingrained in my mind that when it comes to injuries, seeing is believing. You can have the timetable that's given to you, uh, which is cool. It, it allows you to, it, it gives you an expectation. If Harbaugh, whoever, whatever coach, whatever doctor says whatever about, hey, this player is expected back at this time or within this time frame. Okay, that sets an expectation. And that's cool. It's nice when expectations are set. It's even better when expectations are met. And it's even better when expectations are exceeded. But, again, no rushing. No rushing for anybody. But seeing is believing. Seeing is believing. And um, <clears throat> we just got to wait it out and see. When Linda Baum is back, uh, we got to wait it out and see. <laughs> All the continued back and forth between Rap Sheet and, and anybody with the Ravens. Because Rap, Rap Sheet, I, I, I'm sure... Uh, a lot of Ravens players, coaches, they ain't really feeling rap sheet right now. 
they like, man, this dude keep dropping all this dirt on us. And, hey, some of it end up being right, but hey, it's like, oh, we don't know. I'm, I'm sure they ain't really feeling Ian Rappaport right now, man. So we'll see. We'll see, y'all. So, uh, mm, mm, mm. we'll see. I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. And just like Tyler Lindenbaum is for however long, we don't know yet. I'm out.